Öldü. Öldü. Hello. Hello. <coughs> I don't even know how to start this week's episode. Knock it off. Kevin. Shit out of you. Hey, don't say that. I will. It's my son. Stop. <laughs> He's not your son. But, uh, <laughs> did you see that? What? What he did? He like, whipped his tail at you? Or? No, like he went. But it was exactly when you said "but." Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at him, and you went "but." <laughs> I saw him do that. No, I've heard that, uh, like sounds and like spraying them with water works way better than hitting because hitting creates resentment. Uh, yeah. So. Well, he's not my cat, so let me hit him. No. <laughs> Because then he's not He's gonna resent me Not me No He knows my scent We have different scents Yeah but It doesn't matter No sir We smack Marlo and Uncle He didn't resent us Still Don't believe everything You see on the internet Oh okay Ew Just cat litter in your water Ew dude Why are you flicking your shit in your water. What are you trying to stand on hey. the pond? Yeah. You digging up the fresh water out of the ground, you fucking psycho. Looks like. What was that dinosaur's name? Not Jared. I don't know why I want to Welcome to this Jared. week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? What is his name? What do you call it? What was What's his name? The guy's name. The little dinosaur. But in Dinosaurs, where he grew up with the lemurs. You know what I'm talking about? Where he grew up with the lemurs, and then the meteors came, and then he had to jump off the island? The Disney one. Oh, yes. What was his name? I could not tell you. <laughs> I want to say Jared, but I know damn well it's not Jared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Google it. Dinosaur's main character name. <laughs> God, the dinosaur's name is Jared. Not we used to have a puppet of it. Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Trevor's Googling it. It was dinosaur. It was dinosaur. Aladar. <laughs> Aladar? <laughs> Where did you Jared? I don't know. I think I just see it. Jared It's Aladar. kind of mixed up a little bit. Aladar, yeah. Jared. <laughs> Jared, Aladar. Aladar. Yeah. Maybe Aladar. he pushed to the ground and the water came yeah. out. Little babies came and drank. Yeah. And press. Yeah, a puppet That's of Aladar. that thing. Did you know they use real people's facial expressions to make their facial expressions? What? That's why it's so weird and creepy and realistic I looking. I that movie, though. Oh, it's great. It's isn't such a good it? movie. It's so good. I, I haven't watched it. A really long time. Really? Yeah. In a really long time. Really, really <laughs> long time. Bye. Shit, it's on Disney Plus. What do you think about this new Netflix shit? Do what? What do you think about this new Netflix new shit? Netflix shit. What Netflix shit? You heard? I'm Netflix is now enforcing a home location for your accounts. Or account, period. And okay. all the users. So if a user logs onto that account at the home router set location, they're allowed to use it. But every 30 days, if that person doesn't log into that router location with that Netflix account, it's blocked immediately. Can't log back in on that IP address. It's to stop people from sharing accounts. So if me and you want to use Quaz, we can only use it on our phone because we'd be able to take our phones to Quaz house and log in once every 30 days on his router. Isn't that fucked? That is fucked. Yeah. They're going to lose a lot of customers. Yeah. People have been paying it for like forever. Yeah. We've this, been mooching forever. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we've also <laughs> let Qual use my Hulu and Disney Plus and all that shit. I mean, yeah, it's a fair swaps. Yeah. Fair Z swapsies, but. Yeah. But you don't see anybody else doing that shit. <laughs> That's They're going to get crazy. some flack for this. That's wild. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah. They're gonna come out with a password share premium plan to where you can Oh no, they're not doing that, but they are coming out with a AdSense version which is cheaper. That's where you have to watch implied. ads. That's not been, to Netflix. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, you can downgrade right now. Really? Yeah. Oh. I thought that was coming with the No. Hello? Was that you? It's James? Hello? Oh, Ethan's filming us for James while we're doing the podcast. That's why he yelled Joseph. It was the Discord noise on Ethan's iPad. Oh. Not iPad, tablet. I have no idea. I just pieced it together. Why are you asking me why it's happening when I just figured it out? I thought you knew that's why you started saying that. I figured it out. You should have. I was explaining in context clues to you of what oh. was happening. So two of my coworkers have now listened to episodes. So I had so Colton's the only one that I know of that's listened. Mm-hmm. But uh, my friend Diego was drawing his little uh, band logo that he has, and it has like the little pointy effect like ours does. And I was like, "Oh, like what do you call it?" And he goes, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> I was like, my podcast. I'm just fucking with you. He goes, you have a podcast? Oh. I was like, yeah. He goes, what is it? And another person comes up. You have a podcast? Another oh, person shit. comes up. You have a podcast? Oh, shit. Like three people asked for the podcast today. <laughs> God, now I'm really under fire. I got to watch what I start saying. No, nah, fuck O'Reilly. Okay. Well, I'm not even <laughs> talking about that. Oh, okay. Just for myself. <laughs> oh, well. there's some. I've talked about pooping my pants, man. Oh, I hope that's the first one they listen to. That's the one that my first coworker Jordan yeah, listened he to laughed and hysterically, fell. Right? Yeah, he said he damn near fell in his bathtub. Yeah, laughing at it. Yeah, but that one's highlighted as one of the top episodes. Yeah. It's called Bad Lasagna. Like there there's no <laughs> if unless they listen to the newest episode first, which is this one. Yeah. Which happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> we <laughs> Jesus. That one <laughs> threw me off. <laughs> I forgot where I was going. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, but before that. Bad lasagna. Yeah. Uh, spoilers <laughs> for Bad Lasagna. Episode. He shits his pants. Yeah. Listen to Bad Lasagna. Go listen to Bad Lasagna. It's still funny, the explanation of it. Yeah. It's really funny. Mm-hmm. And then my other coworker, he's a lot younger. He's pretty chill. His name's Angel. Shout mm-hmm. out if he's listening now. He said he listened to the episode where you did the squirrel um, tongue twister, the really long one. Oh. He said he was cracking up on his way home. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. But. Yeah. The, the What's the first question you get after? Oh, you have a podcast? <laughs> it's, I don't get it because I don't talk about it unless I want somebody specifically to listen to it. I've what? never, yeah. You're not answering anything what I just asked you. What did you hear me say? What is my reaction? No. Oh. I said, what is the first question you get after somebody asks you, you have a podcast? <laughs> what is the first question, question you get asked? after they ask you, you have a podcast? And I've replied saying, yes, I have a podcast. podcast. They, they say, what's it called? Oh, well, that too. I'm always asked, what's it about? Oh. Yeah. So if I say I have a podcast, I say it's just me and my brother literally talking about our weeks together. And it's oh, like. Dumb shit. Just We're literally just laughing at stupid shit at life. Yeah. Like, it's just me and his life on a mic once a week. Yeah. And we try to make it funny. Yeah. And he was like, okay, yeah, I'll check it out. That's like. That's the only way I describe it. I don't uh-huh. say it's about anything. That's what I say. They say, what's it about? And I was like, literally shit and fart jokes. Like that's Yeah. That's I mean, what I said. Piss and shit jokes and yeah. like stories that I tell. Yeah. There's no real answer to what our podcast about because podcast about podcast about podcast is about because it's always something random as fuck. Yeah. Or nothing at all. You know what we didn't do last week? We skipped crumble cookie. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Because they had the circus cookie. 
Yeah, the circus cookie and the Kentucky butter cake. And, yeah, we did. I swear we did not. The Kentucky look at butter that. cake. We saw the Kentucky butter cake, and he was like, "Ooh, the Kentucky butter cake's back." Yeah, dude. Did we? Yeah. Wow. You should listen more often. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. The last one is the one we also talked about hanging out with James and uh, Hope. That's maybe why. You yeah, I think that's. Forgot but I thought, we did the cookies. Yeah. Because um, it was a long one. Andy came up with a really good game that me and her are going to do on the podcast at some point this year. Okay. That's going to be really fun. What's it called? What's what in the call box? It? What's in the box? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to tell you the premise because then it ruins the surprise. Do you of the understand game. that reference? Yeah. What's in the box? No. Oh. No. Me neither. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently oh, it's shit. something, and Tiff, no. Tiff and her family say it every Christmas. Okay, it's from some movie or something. Okay, I was gonna say, you saying Pete? You said pizza, right? I no. said nothing about pizza. Peace on Earth. Seven. What was the expression you said? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Yes! What's in the box? She made me watch it once a long okay. time ago. What's in the box What's made the me box? think of pizza. Sorry. Oh. Which <laughs> made me think of Ninja Turtles. I was wondering if that's what it's from, but it's not. No. Uh-uh. So that reminded me of a Hot Wheels that I saw. But should I? Should we go in order? Because remember, I went to the Hot Wheels show. <coughs> but should yeah. we go in order of the week? Okay. Do we need to talk about your... You saw Ninja Turtles Hot Wheels. Yeah. But... Do you need to talk about your tragedy on Wednesday night? Oh, I mean, I can't really quick. Everybody at work knows about it, so I mean. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a podcast. It's a yeah. story for us to hear. It was Tuesday night. We fixed it Wednesday night? No, we skipped Wednesday night, fixed it Thursday night. Right? No, it was Wednesday night. Yeah. You. We fixed it Thursday night. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Wednesday night, I was five minutes home. Uh, you good? Wednesday, I was five minutes from home. No, five minutes no. away from work. Yeah. Maybe about five minutes down the road from work on my way home. And you hear? I hear a... <laughs> like a really intense rattly mm-hmm. noise. And I say, what the fuck is that? And I'm on the phone with Tiff at the time, driving home from work. And I say, hold on, I got to pull over. There's a crazy fucking noise going on. I pull over and I'm leaking fluid. And I don't know what it is. I just hear this crazy fucking noise. There's fluid all over my belt and my pulleys and everything in my car. And I'm like freaking the fuck out. Dude, I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, babe, I don't know what to do. And she goes, okay, I'm on my way. I was like, all right, I'm calling Steve. Steve's my boss. He's cool. Do you know he's related to a president and a president murderer? That's crazy. Will not clear. Will not tell you right now because that'll give away his last name. I don't want to tell you his last name, but if you can put the two and two together, that'd be pretty cool. Anyways, yes, it does. You are correct. Um. So I call Steve. He's like, no, that don't sound good. Because <laughs> I started it up for him. And I started it for you after I got a phone with him after he said he was on his way. And you were like, no, that didn't sound good. And then Steve came and said, yep, yeah, your water pump's fucked. It was locked up. So I limped her to the uncle's Steve house. Steve got the belt off, he said. No, I went to go turn it on another time and the belt popped off. Oh, okay. Because there's so much coolant on it. What you I don't know what you. And then what? he's speaking in tongues. <laughs> Alexa's listening. Alexa, can you speak in tongues? That's terrifying. Was that Jay Loving? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Um, this I feel weird. I've never been live. Live. <laughs> you know <what> I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I yes, feel you a little have. bit of extra pressure. Dude, we've done a podcast with 30 people at one time for four hours. But they hours. weren't really like, you know, watching, watching. They were just occasionally walking by the door looking in and uh, the, one guest at a time, sometimes two. Yeah. You know. One... Andy's a live guest. Tiffany's Andy's in there. A live guest. No, that's what I'm oh. saying like they. Oh, well, I mean, they're, I that's know. live guest still. Yeah. What do you call it? It's filmed in front of a live virtual audience. <laughs> 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 um, we are, I guess. Where was I? The belt popped off. The belt popped off, and Steve said, "Go, go now." I heard him on the phone. I was like, "Oh, he's yeah. leaving now." <laughs> he's going. So you. So took I off. I limped at home as fast as I could. Got it to the uncle's house before he is freaking the fuck out. Um, the uncle's house before I could hear like the coolant boiling. And I was like, no, nope, we're two minutes away from home. I'll leave it here. <laughs> Anyways, Thursday, me and Steve, Steve offered to help out about all the stuff. And Steve drove me to the car. Got it here. And me, you, and Steve fixed her up real good, really pretty quick. Yeah. Like way quicker than hour. I expected. Yeah, honestly, because Steve was like, "It could be a bitch, or we could get lucky and knock it loose first try." And I was like, "Oh God, please let it be the first try." <laughs> yeah, we we smashed it. We smashed so. it good. Y'all smashed it good. I didn't do anything, but oh Jesus Christ, Ethan is doing the stupid trippy double. Whoa! <laughs> like when you take your video camera with the TV. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's sick. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Whoa! It's glitching it out. That's crazy. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Doesn't that make you feel like there's other universes and shit just because you can do that? Ew, I hate that we can see it now. What? I can see the screen of us looking oh, at Ethan's Oh, oh did you view. you opened it on Joseph's computer? Yeah. Okay. Oh god, I hate. I cannot <laughs> look over there. Now. now you're embarrassed. Now I'm not embarrassed. I just can't look over there because I won't quit looking over there. Like, I'll want to watch it consistently. Don't look over there, then. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm that's what the babies would do. They would take it, and they'd watch the TV as it's filming themselves. Or they're pointing it at themselves, but they'd be looking at the TV, touching the camera, but staring at the TV. TV. Yeah. Yeah. That was us as babies. We got lots man. of home videos of that. But, yeah, we knocked that shit out quick. It wasn't super expensive, and it cost me, like, 70 bucks in total. It's not bad. Yeah. Probably cost me, like, 300 bucks it. taking it to a shop, so. Yeah. If not more. Yeah, not including the towing. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I'm glad we got it done. Yeah. It was a lot easier than I was expecting. Yeah. Because when I was looking up that you had to take the thing out if you wanted to do it the fast way, I was like, fuck. Radiator? No, the fin clutch fan. Oh, fan yeah. clutch. Because that's a big, <coughs> hefty bolt, and I forgot we've already replaced it once, so it was going to be super tight anyways. Yeah. Thankfully, it wasn't that ridiculously tight. Yeah. But yeah, she's good to go now. She's reborn. She no Put a new cap she on good. it, too. Put a new ready cap. Did it ever burp? A little bit. Like I said, that night in the driveway is when it mostly burped. Because I filled it to the almost the brim. And then when I checked it in the morning, it was like a fifth gone. So I think it just slowly burped overnight. Like the, the heated coolant rose to the tank and just burped yeah. the air out. So, yeah. Think I'm sure you've in. gotten on the highway and like punched it pretty good and stuff. No, no. Oh, uh, yeah, you should. <laughs> Why? be doing that. It helps clean up the engine, dude. You just put around in a car all the time. It's not good for it. You've got to get onto it every once in a while. So I said get on a highway, clear it out. All right, I'll Drive buy some really or some shit. I don't know. You don't even have to do that. So I said just drive it. <laughs> It'll burn it out. Go to like 67 and back. Go to 67. Go to Love's gas station. That's too far. I might as well just keep going and go to Bucky's then. Fuck it. Yeah. Stomp it all the way to Bucky's and then come back and putt around if you want again. But get on the highway. Get her, let her eat. Fine. I think that's what happened to mine. 
for the TL. You yeah. just the beamer. Oh yeah. That's why that light came on. Because that could also be a dirty uh, <laughs> diesel exhaust sensor. And I only have been driving in the city. Oh, uh, okay. Like my sister's wedding. Oh my god, we got live live reactions too. We've almost got like a Twitch chat going on with our fucking Podcast. This is weird. Should we stream our podcast on Twitch? It's really hard. Is it really? Yeah. How is it hard? Because we need a capture card. What? Worth to use Ethan's camera to then stream uh, to the computer. You can't just... I, have one of those. I mean, yeah, but... You do? An extra one? Not an extra one. But I don't use mine. I got it when I had a PS3. And you hooked up the PS3 to the PC? I thought about getting one just so I could hook up my Switch through the PC without having to change monitors and shit and volume and shit. Yeah, I couldn't figure <clears> out how to get it your other regular monitor on. What? When me and him got on ground the, main the other one? night. Yeah. I couldn't just, figure out how to get I clicked that big button like five or six times and nothing happened. Do you shake it? The mouse? Yeah, it like it the fucking this screen turned. Wait, you on. touched the back, didn't you? Yeah, it's the, the very bottom. back. It's the bottom of the monitor. What's the very back top big to button? To adjust the settings. Because <laughs> it I moves around. I loaded right? grounded on the vertical monitor <laughs> yeah, with that. my head sideways. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Did you at least turn up my fans? Oh no! I didn't oh, know thanks. I, did. I didn't overheated know I... my GPU. Appreciate that. I didn't know I had to do that. You should have asked. Just be like, "Hey, man, can I run grounded? Tell me what I need to do." Okay, like, yeah, sure. You were <coughs> at the Super Bowl party. I'm sorry. So I want to bug you. You can text me. Okay, I will next time. I'm sorry. Uh, you better not be next time. Oh. I don't want to miss out on the fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully we can get another stink bug attracted to the ant hill. That was the best way to kill one first. I saw a video of yeah attracting other bugs to other bugs. You get them to kill each other and just taking the yeah. reaping the rewards. We got stupid lucky <clears throat> that the stink bug like found us at the ant hill and the army ants like clawed that thing. There oh, was yeah? so many of them on it. Hell yeah! But the gas killed them after it had killed it. So I just got to run in and grab it and run away. All the ant parts and the yeah. bug parts. So we had gas mask and everything. We There's... killed more stink bugs to get you a gas mask. Like we yeah. were set. I got my old backpack, all that shit out down of the, in the cavern. cavern. Damn. We did all fucking lot. You know, of there's auto saves, and... right? There is auto saves. Did so, you not see to check to see if there's an auto save available? No, I didn't because when oh. me and him were done, uh-huh. it was like a save will be created for this whatever. When you were on my computer? No, no, no. When me and, when I hit escape and it's like I hit quit or whatever, it's like a save will be done or it says something about a save will be done. Oh. So I just don't worry about it. I just quit normally. Yeah. He got off, so I went to the room. To turn it off. No, no, no. We weren't getting off yet. We got kicked. The server uh, kicked us out while probably you were... Probably for my inactivity. Yeah, I, I guess. And so I went in there, and I hit super quit because you were on the dead screen. Yeah. Instead of hitting respawn, escape, save, like all that, uh-huh. I just hit super quit, reloaded it, booted in. I realized I was back where exactly where we started with nothing... We had upgraded. Oh. Like all the work we had done. You might have night. loaded the last save file, not the last auto save file. Maybe. Is, I'll, I'll check and see. Yeah. Hopefully there was an auto save. <laughs> we'll auto see. S- it auto saves like every 15 minutes or some shit. We played for like what? An hour and a half? Uh, so there should be an auto We played for a while, but we'll see. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of Grounded too. It's been fun. I enjoy it. Yeah. I also bought a Zelda this week. Did I tell you that? Yeah, I told you that because you were like, yeah, you need to go away for three days. <laughs> I played about an hour and I'm enjoying it so far more than I thought I would. So I'm going to get it hooked up. I'm going to borrow Joseph's pro controller and I'm going to hook it up to the monitor and have some fun. Me and Ethan, since we couldn't play Grounded again last night, we tried playing Madden NFL uh, 23. Madden 23. Ew, why? It, it's free on Game Pass. Oh, okay. So we were just trying it, and 
I couldn't even get through the first game without it breaking my computer. Like, my computer would literally just go... The whole game would freeze and everything. Have you updated your drivers? Uh, I thought yeah. I have. I can recheck Maybe. again, Maybe but there's no checking. Windows updates or anything Not like that, that. Like the display drivers. I haven't checked that yet. Check but, that. Because um, they come out so frequently. The I switched the controller from the black wire that comes with the pro controller into the Xbox controller because I mm. thought it was the switch controller in the USB because it kept disconnecting because I was fucking with it. I kept changing the colors and that would disconnect it from the computer uh, and shit. Yeah. So, um, I, when I switched to the Xbox one, I got through like a play and a half and then it bricked my computer. What the fuck? So it's the game for sure. Yeah. So I, it's either like, Taking way too many or graphics or like oh, rip. What'd you do? What'd you open? G Force Experience. Ah, uh, it is your video card. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. It's been a hot minute since you opened that. Yeah. When, do you even know the last time you updated Nvidia? Updated a long time. Not a long time ago. Like recently. more recently than not. Huh. Probably COD, yeah. Not even. It's been way more recent than that because I was having issues with something. Oh. Uh, huh. What is your graphics card? The 1070 Ti. It's pretty outdated. A little bit. I mean, mine's a 1080 Ti and it still runs everything great. I mean, mine still runs a lot of stuff good. I haven't had a blue screen in a while, so. It's 0404. Um, yeah, Friday, me and Andy hung out. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah. What did I do Friday? Yeah, I hung out with Tiffany. Or she came here and hung out. Yeah. And then Saturday morning, me and Andy went to this convention center that had like a Hot Wheels classic sale. No. It was so sick. There's literally like so many Hot Wheels. Thousands of Hot Wheels spread across that the That you've probably never seen before. That yeah, all in their packages. Were there was there like booths that did custom ones too? No, there's uh-huh. there's dudes that like have like full sets of cars. Like there's a dude with the Fast and Furious original set that came out when the movie came out. Like, oh shit, that's cool. Their OG OG he had a whole set of the OGs for a hundred and fifty dollars. I feel like that's not bad. He's uh, the guy I work with, he collects Hot Wheels, and mm. he said they run about eight dollars a piece mm. separately. So a full set. He's like a math is like kind of there, but yeah. he goes if a full set's there, then like it's yeah. there. But he's like, I just couldn't cough out that much money. I was like, Yeah, that's a lot of fucking money for Hot Wheels. <sighs> but they had a really sick um. Advan uh, trailer truck with a R32 wrapped oh, in the same yeah. Advan. Oh, yeah, you were talking about that, yeah. Uh, like, livery, and it was so dope. I wanted it so bad. It looked drift Isn't back. it livery? I thought it was livery. I thought it was livery. You said livery. Livery. It is you livery. You confused me. I'm pretty sure it's livery. Okay. <clears throat> it's still a little livery to me. That's gross. Oh, it opened this time. Yeah. You didn't uh, buy anything? Can just no, buy I didn't anything. have cash. Oh, that's right. You're it's basically me. a cash <clears throat> only thing. Yeah, that was a bummer. So, next time I know, yeah. I'm going to go. They said that one's the second Saturday of every month, but they do something there every Saturday. So, uh, I kind of want to go see what the other ones are. Let's even. go see what. I want to go back to that Hot Wheels one again because. You said they had some old school they had Jurassic some Park old ones. school Jurassic Park, and ones. I want to buy those. Those are dope. There were some that those. were like forty dollars. Really, the little cars. So oh, like, that's cool. You're gonna have to bring some cash. I'm down to bring some cash. <laughs> you and your little collectible knickknacks. Oh, fuck yeah, Jurassic Park and cars, perfect. But yeah, it was really yeah. sick. There was a lot of. They have like you big, said the uh, second Saturday of every month. Yeah, I believe that's what I heard. Okay, I can check their Facebook page. 
but yeah, I want to go to. I want to check. Um, I can't remember if it was Andy or if it was uh, Jordan that said to check the convention center's website and oh, see yeah, if see they have hosting. a calendar of of what's I coming. I would think so. So, but it's tiny. But it was yeah. packed in there. Like oh, you're bet. like this, looking at Hot Wheels with yeah. people at <laughs> tables. Because Hot Wheels are hella collectible. It's, yeah, there was a lot of people. Um, do you have any interest in going to the one that I went to last year, the Retro Palooza one? No, the thirty dollar no. one. No, I'm okay. Not even at all. No. Why not? I'm just. It's not just video games. I know, but it's not <clears> even <throat> like. Retro Palooza. It's like. It's Retro Palooza. It's like it's a like a retro swap meet retro. It's a video stuff. game convention, but there's also like you know pop culture stuff and all that kind of artwork and collectibles. It's it's a little bit of everything. It's all like nostalgia collectible stuff. Yeah, know? I don't know. I just I can't justify the money. The thirty dollars. It's not even the thirty dollars. It's, it's what, what I would want to spend. spend in there. Yeah. I'm doing my tax return, and that's what I'm going to be spending money on. That's another thing that pissed me off today. What? I owed on taxes this year. Really? Yeah. That's what Tim told me that he owed, and I was like, oh, God, I hope I don't owe. What was the difference this year? They're saying it's something about the COVID pay. And see, that's when fucked up. When you receive up. that, it's more like the taxes are coming out Shit. more now. I'm probably going to end up paying. But you're also... A simple W two. Mine. I have a lot of stock and dividend uh, bullshit that I'm having to deal with too. So I even have to pay H and R or TurboTax to do it. And TurboTax is sixty nine dollars. H and R is fifty five. So I'm obviously going to do H and R. Yeah. Like save more money and already have to fucking pay the government from what I'm seeing off my W two alone. Yeah. So it's just so gay. Dota what? Oh. I have no idea. They're talking about taxes now. No, they're talking about my computer. We should just whisper that we can't hear anything we're saying. Yeah. And then they have to watch it. Then they have to watch the episode. You sons of bitches. You should fucking watch it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. We're going to whisper from now on. Motherfucker. We're only whispering. This is becoming an ASMR episode. can't keep whispering because it's hard it's not the hard. second the brakes wear in on the cut rotor already it gets it below spec and then it warps stupid easy and it ruins the pads way faster so it's better to just replace oh, okay. non-vented rear rotors because they're already stupid then i didn't know that. i've got a lot of non-vented rotors my dad would really like that. yeah they're gonna come back in like a year and be like I need, I need new my rotors are warped you cut them last time. What happened? I'm sorry, I told you that you don't have a whole lot of time. Most people are like, "Well, how much do you think I'll get out of them? Like maybe six months to a year max." Like, quit whispering. Why? Cause I don't want them in here. <coughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. No one does. They go watch it. We they will videos. go watch it. No, they won't. Why yeah, would they, they won't. watch it a second time? Cause. No. Yeah. I think so. They can barely hear us anyways. You realize on YouTube it matters about how long somebody watches something for it to gain popularity, right? Yeah, but we're not doing this to gain popularity. I know, right? Right. So what does it matter if we whisper or not? It fucking doesn't. It doesn't. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Um, What were we even fucking talking about? Taxes. Yeah, yeah. We can skip that. That's boring. 
Yeah. We were talking about the Retropalooza. And I was just going to say, I was going to use my tax return to buy stuff there, but... Yeah, you better sounds like check. I might not. You better double check this year, but... I'll be taken out of the... Sounds like everybody's about to start Piggy all. banks over there. So... Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. At least it's not like $2,000. Yeah, Tim said he had to owe like... Two hundred bucks or something, yeah, which is terrible. Like under but, that, yeah. mine's like right under two hundred. So totally. ridiculous. If you add on the turbo tax, it's like right at it, but still better than. I was told that I don't get as much on my tax return because I don't have health insurance. And see, that's what somebody told me. But they said they also got rid of that when Trump became president, and they don't. They haven't reversed it yet. But it was Obama who instituted it for a certain amount of time, even while Trump was. In office, or like yeah, he it couldn't was reverse Trump, it. Or he couldn't it reverse off, it because it wasn't stated for yeah. a certain amount of time. Yeah, not just because he was in. He couldn't pick it out just because he, he was, was in office. office. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But we'll find out. I don't think so. I should get health insurance, but like, I don't go to the doctor. Yeah, I need to get it next go around and actually start going to the doctor. Yeah, well, fuck that. If I'm dying, I'm dying. Yeah, uh, no, I'd rather not just die because I didn't take care of myself. Well, I mean, there's a difference between taking care of yourself. Like when I'm sick, yeah, I'm going to take medicine. That's not taking care of yourself. How is that not taking care of myself? That's just taking medicine to feel better That's and to get rid of whatever is there. Uh, unless it's something severe, that's different, but. That's what I said. You also have to like take care of yourself so something severe doesn't just pop up. Oh. Yeah. I already got high blood pressure. Exactly. So you should probably quit drinking as much and go for walks. It's easy to say. That's what my coolant sounded like. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I fucking bet. I've heard that noise sounding. S- sunny several times. I've heard that time. Sunny times. Heard that sunny times. So many times. What'd you do yesterday? Sunday. Monday. What's today? Sunday. What'd you do Sunday? Sunday? Well, Saturday, after I did Andy's breaks, oh, yeah. we came straight here. I lubed them all up, figured out she oh. needs rear pads and rotors, and then put it all back together. I washed my hands really good. We left, and we went and picked up a dog from... Mansfield's oh, yeah. shelter named Bruno. Bruno. He's been there since the beginning of December. Yeah. And so that's like right when we started going to PetSmart pretty often for Kevin. Uh huh. And we would see Bruno there in the cage every time and like just look sad in his little kennel. And we were like, that poor dog. We need to move out so we can adopt him. Um, and so. Yeah, but you can't be like that with every pet or you'll have too many pets. Yeah, I know. But. I also didn't choose him. He kind of chose us. Oh, yeah. I'd much rather choose a dog because I wanted to give him a home. The dog will remember that more than Kevin will remember Dogs me. Dogs don't remember jack shit. You'd be surprised. I, uh, <coughs> You'd be very surprised. No, dogs are dumb. <laughs> You'd be very shocked. I'm not shocked. <sighs> Dogs are stupid. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyways, we went and took Bruno out. He is a giant puppy. He's like, I think they said 68 pounds or 70-something pounds. He's two and a half years old. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to run. That's all he wanted to do was sprint, sprint, sprint. Sprint, sprint. I decided to try sprinting with him, and he was yanking me like, no, no, no. Don't do it, Kev. No, no, no. Um, no, no, no. He was like yanking me, causing me to stomp, and my shins were on fire on in no less than fire. 30 seconds. Yeah. I was like, oh, I cannot keep doing this. So I stopped and sat down on a bench, and he just jumped up on the bench and sat down right next to me. Nice. Andy walked out <clears> and goes, oh, how cute. Oh, my goodness. Andy's in love with him. She wants to keep him so bad. And <laughs> Andy's parents... Andy's parents. <laughs> Did you hear that? It came out of like this. <laughs> Andy's parents came with their dog, Lucas. They yeah. met. They like weren't like attacking each other. 
just sniffing each other up, like getting to know each other, kind of. They did like the standing up with each other thing, like showing who's more dominant than who. Uh-huh. And of course, Bruno is winning because he's way bigger, of and course. Lucas is a little older and tiny. Tiny. Yeah. They're tiny compared to Bruno. Yeah. And uh, it was all good, but it was already the hour up that we were allotted to take Bruno out. So we, he, they got to meet for like ten minutes. They really didn't get to do anything besides sniff each other, and then. Yeah. We had to take him back, but uh-huh. Andy's like, I'm going to leave work early and like bring him home one day so he can like settle down in the house and show my mom how good he is. Oh and I goodness. was like, you're just trying to convince her of something that she's already said no to twice now, but yeah. <laughs> podcat podcat. Um, so after we dropped Bruno off, we went and looked at an open house in Fort Worth slash Everman, technically. Everman. Yeah. It's kind of over there near Lauren and Aaron, but it's mm. classified as Fort Worth. And it's this tiny, compact house. Oof. And it's long. And the backyard is like maybe eight foot by like ten foot. Oh, my God. It is tiny, but it's by far the nicest conditioned house we've uh, seen yet Okay, uh, in our price range. And Andy's parents found one a little bit higher than our price range, of course. Of course. <clears throat> in the same neighborhood, but it's been on the market way longer. So, so like, you come could down. come down on it, possibly. Yeah. And it's a two-story so it's oh. in the same neighborhood. So the bottom floor is like one bedroom and a bigger living room in the kitchen. And then the upstairs is like the master bedroom area. But you get a bigger backyard. And there's with the a two bit story. of a bigger backyard. We haven't gone and seen it in person yet, but yeah. it looks way bigger than the pictures of the other ones. So mm-hmm. we want to look at that one, but it's also just like out of our price range. So if we put in an offer and it's not like accepted, boo hoo, but. Yeah. Still. You should definitely go look at it first. Yeah. And then um, we went and looked at another one. Wasn't as nice of condition. Walked out pretty quickly. And as we were driving away, we saw Andy's parents pulling up because they were going to try and meet us there. But we had like, already figured out we didn't want the house because it had... um. What's it called? <sighs> yeah, it had me out, Kevin. Yeah. It's like the water pipes and the sewage pipes. Like, what do you call that? Sewage system? No, so- it's like the plumbing system. Plumbing, yeah. All the plumbing <coughs> and like water lines under the house are rotting and like have oh. to be replaced. So that's why it's as cheap as it is, because if it was all done, it's already like a $290,000 home. Oh, my God. It's in like a $400,000 home neighborhood, but it's just way outdated and needs like a lot of work, a $50,000 renovation underneath to Mm -hmm. replace all the pipes. No, no, no. But, yeah. But the house was sick. (laughs) He's going to try biting your glasses, so just blow on him. Like good puffs. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So we told her parents, let's go out to dinner. So we ended up going to (laughs) Twin Peaks. Uh (laughs) We ended up going to Twin Peaks. I didn't realize it was like that at all. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a Hooters type. Yeah. There it's worse than Hooters. Yeah. Type. I was like, oh, Andy's and her dad suggested it. Not me. Andy suggested it. Wow. I okay. was like, okay. We're going. I go up, I'm like, oh shit. This place. Like, okay. Whoa. I was just not ready for it at all. Yeah. Because even Andy was like, it's like Hooters. And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm expecting like a country booty Hooters. And and, <clears throat> yeah, like blue jean booty shorts and like a fucking flannel top or something, which yeah. is what our waiter had. 
uh-huh. or waitress, waitress had you. yeah waitress had but all the other waitresses or like a lot of other waitresses were in damn near lingerie like oh my there was a lady that was clocking in as we were leaving the head uh electrical tape over her nips and that was full it. lingerie like full see-through lingerie except the big x's on her oh my nips and he damn near bumped into her. I was like, babe, like, pay attention. <laughs> I'm like trying not to look as well, <laughs> trying to be polite. Yeah. But they have good food. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I didn't realize that. Their fried yeah. pickles are bomb. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Did you take some fried pickles over the nipples? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No. Okay. It was really good fried pickles, genuinely. Okay. Compared to the ones I had today. Way fucking better. Yeah. yeah, I went to this place called like Aircraft or Air Burger. Air Burger. I googled it because I wanted to read the reviews. Cheeseburger. Spaghetti. Or Airways Hamburger. Airways Hamburger. On Collins. I go there for lunch sometimes. I went there expecting like a. I don't know. Like, a, I just, for some reason, I was expecting something different, I guess. Mm. So I just got a burger with fries and then a side of fried pickles. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> I'm sitting there. I get my order. I go back to work. I open the burger. And it's like a burger dad would make. It's Yikes. like a charcoal frozen patty burger. Not really seasoned mm. with their... House made Thousand Island sauce, mm. onions and lettuce with bacon. Is I got the bacon cheeseburger, mm. and I was eating it. And I was like, "This literally tastes like something Dad cooked on the charcoal grill in the backyard," and I don't like that. Like that's not my favorite kind of burger ever. Yeah, you like a flat top burger. Yeah, that and or like gas grill. I guess for some reason I just don't like the taste of charcoal grill. Mm. There's something. It's like smoked meat for me. It's only certain ones are good. Yeah. It's just not it. Charcoal grilled burgers are not it. So I was just mm. like already having a shit day all day. And you were like, I'm going to treat myself to some I kind was of like, nice I'm going to go try something fucking new today. Uh-huh. I was sitting in line at Arby's. It was taking like 10 minutes at that point. Uh-huh. It's literally right next to Airways. And I was like, I'm going to fucking pull over in this parking lot and go get this burger joint a try. Uh-huh. Fuck <clears> it. What's the worst that can happen? It's not good. <laughs> it's not that it's not good. It's it just, just wasn't great. It just wasn't what I was wanting out of yeah. a burger joint like that. Like, I was hoping to find, like, a crazy new good burger joint that I could yeah, go no. sit at alone. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ethan's even shaking his head it's, now. <laughs> it's not that good, man. Yeah. That's a bummer. I need a new small plate. Not new. I just need... I a want small plate, a too. small place near that my job that you can treat yourself at like, sometimes yeah but all the places are like big popular uh, place like i almost drove down to um twisted root yeah because it's close enough like if you but leave twisted early root enough been better it would have been way better but i wouldn't <clears throat> have like i would have had to have sat there and enjoyed it instead of taking it back and enjoying it still like yeah granted it probably would have been a better time just sitting there enjoying my food yeah a twisted root on my phone, but maybe that's what I'll do next time. I'll just go down there and there you go. enjoy myself. Have a nice loaded nice french pickles. fry, some pickles, and a good burger. Big old burger. No. <laughs> do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm there kidding. <laughs> Compare. <laughs> no. No, this is just not exactly what I was wanting. The fries weren't bad. Had they been crispier and not crinkle cut, they would have been better. And see, I got flack for not liking crinkle cut either at work today. And I was like, it's only not that certain good. crinkle cuts. Um, Kane's <clears throat> crinkle cuts are really good because they're crispy. Yeah, they're not bad. These were the fat, chunky crinkle cuts, like the okra brand. That golden yellow brand, you know exactly what I'm talking yep. about. The mom would bake in the oven; it would never be crispy. Yeah, they're always just meh. Yeah, 
that's that's what those fries were like, but they had some uh-huh. good seasoning on it. Oh, okay. The so fried edible. pickles were a soggy conglomerate mess of just hot pickle with a little bit of crunchy crust and soggy pickle juice crust. Bummer. Yeah, it sucked. I Damn. saw the girl carrying my clump of fried pickles and saying, hey, you need to put fried pickles on the list. We only have enough for his order and dropped my whole chunk Oh, so it was bummer. like the bottom of the freezer the bag. Bin, yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. It was just Sorry, Sweet Tea was good. Burger, you suck. Sweet Tea was good. I almost got a beer out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> just I was like that's wrong. <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, <clears throat> it feels way wrong. But oh. Did you do, did you watch the Super Bowl? Yeah. Somewhat. Somewhat. Not the whole thing. Well, me and him were playing a lot of grounded through it. Just turn around for all the plays, really, instead yeah. of. There's I didn't a bunch even really of watch it. Fucking any of the good awesome plays. But it was a really good at the game, very end, that last call, the last two minutes. I didn't. Why watch are you it. playing like little bitches? I understand you want to win, but like, go out with some balls, not a pussy. You yeah. know what I mean? I Sorry, didn't watch it. I know that sounds terrible, but like. I didn't watch the last two minutes Man up. at all. I just watched Really? You're just going to run out the clock, score a field goal, and then give them eight seconds to try and score a touchdown? Fuck you. I mean... I don't care. That's just a bitch move. how you win. Hey, that's the first tie. I'm sure I would have loved football in like the didn't 80s and 90s. Didn't they tie and go in overtime? No. Oh. They were tied for a little bit there, but in the fourth quarter, they ran it. They did, ran it down from the last two minutes to eight seconds doing a field goal. That's ridiculous to me. That's strategy. That's no, just how that's you win. being a bitch. But it's either your team wins the Super Bowl and your whole team gets like a giant bonus, or no, it's all about you money, yeah. risk it and Not like they're making enough money. I mean, still, if you were in their shoes, no, I'd play like a man. Okay, like a little bitch. Okay. There was one commercial. There was a Tubi commercial. You know what Tubi is? Yeah, the streaming service. Yeah. It, like, went from the Super Bowl, and it, like, exited out to the home screen of, like, an Amazon Alexa TV or whatever, and then it went to the Tubi app and opened Tubi and started watching a movie. That's what I was saying. I think they did on purpose to be like, what the fuck? What's going on with our TV? Everybody got confused by it. That's funny. like, two people at work said that today. Did you see the Tubi ad? I was like, what the fuck? I did not see that one. Yeah. Did you see Mr. Beast? No. Yeah, he was in the ad. Where the girl had the flag football. Yeah. I missed that one. You, you don't remember the girl having the flag football and like juking everybody? I started that one and then I went to the bathroom. Oh, she runs past Mr. Beast and he's like, oh, man. Uh, and then it's... I think he said he paid like $500,000 or something like that. He paid $500,000 to be so. in the commercial? I think so. To be in a Super Bowl commercial? That's nuts. Wow. Because he is a brand himself. Yeah, that's true. Like his face. Hey! Get your tube. He likes his jingle ball. Jingle balls, jingle balls. Kevin smacked the ball. He hasn't done that yet, thankfully. He's just like scratching my ear for no fucking reason in the morning. Well, not for no reason. It's to wake me up. But. Yeah, man. Where are we at? Oh, dang. Yeah, where am I? Yeah. What did you do yesterday? That's Super Bowl. You were at Super Bowl party at Tiffany's. Yeah. How was that? It was fun. I had some good food. Uh, just had a good time laughing at the commercials and watching the game. Very nice. It was a great show. Hmm? Jesus. Very nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Going buck wild. He does like his jingle ball. Told you. Yeah, man. Ready to guess these cookies and get out of here because we're at Let's one battery. It. Let's do it. Let's hope this <coughs> puppy doesn't die. Fingers crossed. 
Don't let the puppy die. Fingies crossed. Ready? Yep. Set. Go. Wait, no, that's not the right one. It's got to be this one. Okay, yeah, the Valentine's M&M's. Valentine's M&M's, yep, M&M's of course. Cookie. Uh, uh, some kind of pie. Brown sugar, maple brown sugar? Maybe, that does Cinnamon look like brown that. sugar, confetti cake? No, that's just sugar with sprinkles. Chocolate, uh, chocolate strawberry, strawberry strawberries, something. yeah, chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah. Kevin! Oh, that's caramel? Oh. Oh, caramel chocolate. Chocolate caramel lovers. Chocolate caramel lovers. Original featuring M&M's, yep. New York cheesecake was okay. that second one. Confetti, yeah. It's just a sugar cookie with heart-shaped sprinkles. Chocolate-covered strawberry, you were correct. And chocolate caramel. It's just a chocolate caramel cookie. Very nice. Yep. Yep. All right, man. Can you play the outro or? It's fine. We can just leave. Okay. Switch it up. No outro this time. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Fun fact if you didn't know, if you're born in November, you're a Valentine's baby. That's Most wild. of the time, yeah. At least a February baby, so you probably that's wild. You can see it on Valentine's Day. Do you, you hear that, Valentine's November baby? babies? November babies, you're a Valentine's baby. You're a Valentine's baby. Have a good, safe, sexy, sexy week. Safe day. Valentine's tomorrow. Day tomorrow. And or today, you're listening to this today. I mean, technically, if you're listening on Tuesday, yeah. If you didn't listen Monday night. I hope you had a safe, sexy Valentine's Day. If we you're hope you having a safe, sexy, sexy time. Valentine's Day. We hope you're listening if right you're now listening while you're right having now, sexy time. Having sexy time. That's Comment. Weird. Comment. Hello. I'm having sexy I'm time. I'm having sexy time. And we'll leave a like. We'll and like your comment. We'll pin you. You're going to pin them on Valentine's Day. To the top comment. Oh, okay. Thanks for listening. <laughs> for this today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye.